my boy Seth Rollins mad that a mid-quarter like Cody trying to come take his shine. I don't blame you. It's so crazy, though. His wife even speaking out about it. Ain't that eventually going to be kind of like odd because they all work in the same company on the same show? Like, they not. That's probably why the drafting happened. Watch. Let, let's see if I'm wrong about this, y'all. I don't know. I ain't finna put no. So, so we ain't even finna say if I'm right or wrong. Because I ain't finna promise to it. But watch this, y'all. If Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch and Cody Rhodes end up getting split up on different shows, that little beef that they got is realer than we think it is. Wouldn't that pretty much confirm it? Like, it would pretty much confirm it, though. Yep, if they, because they all on the same show right now. The minute this draft that the Triple H just announced, what, Friday? Last Friday just went by? They going to probably split them all up, all over the situation that's going on. Cody Rhodes, is Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch, I just feel like they he jumped the line. They feel like he, like while they was there holding it down, doing what they got to do, whether you agree if they cared or if they didn't or whatever, because Roman Reigns, I mean, Seth still give Roman his flowers. He say he put him number one on different lists and whatever. So it ain't like they're oblivious, like Roman ain't holding it down to. They just speak it from the, their perspective, their their way, and, they, and, and they're right. Seth has been holding it down. Whether it's at a top level, mid Carter, he's been there. And truthfully speaking, over the past few years, he's been holding it down. Well, no, captivation-wise, Roman Reigns has been holding it down. But consistency-wise, Seth Rollins has been holding it down. He's been there. He's been there. He's been there. Hella hot water, he's been there. Yep, you got to get that boy his due. He's been there more than Brock. And Cody came back, and he went straight back out with injuries for like six, seven months. I ain't even been here for a whole year, and he getting main event spot, a, a program with Brock. I kind of see why Seth like, bro, forget dude. So while us fans are like, oh, Cody should have won the title. Cody should have beat Roman. Ask Seth should he won the title. Because it ain't even about the title or winning or losing it. If you really pay attention to what Seth's saying, Seth's saying, dude, he shouldn't have been in that spot, period. That's what he's saying. He don't care whether he won or lost that motherfucker or not. He should have been right there. And even his wife said the same thing. Becky Lynch said the same thing. She said her husband should have been in that position. Meaning they don't care if if they beat Roman Reigns or lost. They feel like it's time for him to move up in the card, basically. That's basically what Becky's saying. And I don't even think she cared for herself to move up because I think she could with Bianca running things for a while. I think it's about self, really. She tired of seeing her husband being stuck in the same spot. But it's so funny, though, because everybody vouched for self. Oh, he this good. He a top five type of wrestler in the world. Well, why y'all don't ever be pushing for him to get no title shot? Only I keep hearing is Cody. Then before Cody, it was Sammy. So what's, what's, what is Seth Rollins to y'all? Like, chop liver? He a throwaway? You could just, he a toy? You just pull him out when you want to? Like, I don't get it. Like, dude, if you pushing for Sammy at first to win the title, then you pushing for Cody to win the title. Where was that energy with Seth? Then I'm sure Drew came in there at some point, too. So it's like, yeah, bro, y'all leaving stuff like right out the picture. Then if he go to AEW, he should be pushed. He should be pushed. Y'all going to forget about him there as soon as a couple more dudes come. A couple more dudes come right behind him. Y'all going to forget about him there. And as a performer, as a character... And he seemed like a decent type of guy. I'm going to say decent because I just, like I say, if you ain't black, I just hope you ain't offensive to my race. Because who knows how y'all come out down the road, whoop de whoop de whoop and I ain't trying to be one of the people who love your character, your work, or you as a person, and come to find out you're a black man with a friend of a color. I say this mess all the time. But, plus, you know, it was some weird little rumors for him anyway, well, that ex he with. But, like I say, you give people a second chance, done cleaned up, clean yourself up, turn around or whatnot, so try not to judge him about nothing like that, but he still, I don't know, like, they gonna push Roman Reigns, like, see, y'all, Seth is basically kind of like Cesaro with a personality, almost, like, but in Vince's eyes, 
He st- how much would you push him still? You probably don't put a boy two, three, four times, the world title maybe. Even out of 10, 12, 15, it'll be pretty much what Seth going through now. You still wouldn't really get pushed like that. He pushed Roman Reigns because of – I honestly feel like Charlotte Flair gets pushed because of the sponsors. You get pushed from the sponsors and his love that he has for Flair because he didn't really get a chance to push Flair's all the Reigns himself. So the makeup for it is by being able to push his daughter. You got to think about it. Rick Flair won the belt so many times, but it wasn't through Vince like that. So Vince, I guess this is a makeup for him not being able to be hands on with your career. He gonna pay that like it was all one and the same by him being hands on with Charlotte career. But I still think that Seth Rollins probably I don't know man. I think he'll probably still always be unhappy because Brock is the money man. I don't care nothing about no ratings. The storyline alone. Roman Reigns is currently the money man. And Vince has always been the money man. John Cena's technically a money man with the Hollywood crossover apparel. Same thing with Dwayne Johnson The Rock. Seth don't really realize, bro. And then he just brought in Cody. Then it ain't nothing for Drew to get on the hot run. Then Gunther coming up. Then Roman Reigns got Solo Sokoa and Jay Uso, who credible. Logan Paul bouncing off the walls like on improvement level each day. Seth don't realize, bro, you kind of almost like stuck in the mid card, bro. You kind of is. Like, I don't really see how you get higher up unless Rock. He he pretty much will be like Jericho or 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 like, one of them wrestlers, I can't, maybe it's not Jericho I'm thinking of, but one of them wrestlers who pretty much got title shots when the big wrestlers was gone, like Injured or Hollywood or UFC or whatever, pretty much, like, I don't really see him getting pushed strong the way he would, unless they split the belts up, maybe. Like, that'll probably be, like, the only way. I couldn't see Seth getting a, a reign like like uh, Roman Reigns just got. I just could never see Vince going through with that. I couldn't see Triple H going through with that. Honestly, see, Roman Reigns' look is almost like a Hollywood crossover look, plus a casual look, too, because of his his size, the football. 